Today I'd like to extol the, the virtues of empathy, of compassion, and of sharing. I am a bushman. I spent a good third of my life in the, in the bushes. Um, we barely had much. We had basically nothing. Uh, my parents were broke, and we were at the very lower echelons of the um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Sometimes, though, mom would do miracles and she would put food on the table. I am the youngest of seven, and my siblings and I would scramble and fight over the food. So you see, there was hardly any food for us to eat. There wasn't enough food for all seven of us to eat. My dad sometimes, when he was there, used to leave a huge bag of rice at home. But that was it. So my siblings and I would go down the river and get some fish to cook it and eat. But the food never made it to the table. We would eat the food while it was cooking. So you see that there was hardly any food for us to eat, especially for the youngest and the, the weakest one amongst all seven of us. Sometimes, though, my, uh, my siblings would show some compassion, they would show some empathy, and we would not be fighting and scrambling over the food. When that happens, there would be enough food for everyone, and we, we would all eat to our satisfaction. That begs the question. I was thinking to myself, this is kind of magical. Something that is insufficient without empathy becomes abundant with empathy. Take this candle, for example. Just give me the other one. Thank you. Take this candle, for example. It does not become dimmer when it shares its light. It actually becomes brighter because it has shared its energy. So sharing actually... Thank you. So sharing actually makes something bigger more valuable and more important. I thought to myself, my goodness, no food, we were broke, scrambling over food, we didn't have anything, and when there was empathy, there was abundance. So, as a leader, you want to share knowledge, you want to dig down and look at the needs of your people and share knowledge. If you're a leader also, refrain from retaining a lot of control. Share power, delegate. When you do that, when you share power, you become more powerful, like the candle that I just showed you. Here is another one for you. My mom was um, ill most of the time, and therefore most of the time she was not there. One of my mom's best friends took care of me. She would. Um, she would give, fix a hot plate for me when I was hungry. It turned out that this lady became known as the evil lady in the village, and everyone shunned her. Why? What happened? I don't really know. But when my mom felt better and she came back, she did not shun this lady, she did not reject her. Instead, she supported this lady, she shared the little things that she had with this lady, and she kept her company. At the time, that baffled me. I, I did not understand why mom actually stood beside this lady. But looking back, I now understand it becomes clearer to me. Take this 100 francs, for example. What can it buy? Maybe a pair of shoes. Well, let's subject it to uh, some stress test. Let's crush it and maybe even Smash it. Do you think it still has its value? Yes, it does. Do you think it can still buy a pair of shoes? Yes, it can. So sometimes we go through immense difficulties. We go through a spell of lows. It does not mean that we've lost our value. It does not mean that we are useless. Everyone goes through those things. So show empathy to people. Give people a chance, give them another chance, because that is how we will go forward 
together. Did you know that the total number of people who've ever been born is 117 billion? Yet, the genetic code that generates viable versions of us is capable of at least 10 to the 30th variations of humans. That is one followed by 30 zeros, providing one million, providing one million trillion trillion possible human beings. So far, our tree of life has produced only zero point zero 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 one percent of all possible human beings. What does this mean? This actually means that most people who could exist will never, ever, ever be conceived. We are alive today because we won the lottery, maybe just once. We are alive today against a stupendous odd. So, this also means that we are kind of special. We are extremely, extremely special. So, treat people who are unique, who are special, with extra special care. Because everyone is endowed with a talent of is a pool of talent. Everyone has a huge field of skills, and everyone is special and unique. So my message to you today as leaders, clothe yourself with, with, with empathy, clothe yourself with compassion, because we are a unique species, and we need or we deserve to be treated with due care, with empathy and with compassion. Thank you very much.